everyone welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you a lesson plan based on the title plants around me in which i'll discuss the characteristics of living and non-living things in detail through various activities which will be very interesting for the children to get engaged and understand better so let's get started to begin with you have to first write down title that is plants around me then comes subtitle that is characteristics of living and non-living things then specific objectives or aim students will be able to learn the characteristics of living and non-living things and then previous knowledge students are aware of what living and non-living things are then comes set induction which is the most vital part of the lesson plan because it sets the pace of the entire lesson to follow for therefore you have to begin with an activity example observe keenly here material materials required which has to be arranged by the teacher will be an earthworm in some soil and a stone now note if a teacher is bringing an earthworm to the class she should bring them with some soil and after the activity she should put them back into the soil from where she has taken them all right and the instructions you have to give the students is that ask students to observe the worm and stone for 5 minutes and then ask them questions like what have you observed students may give responses like moving eating etc then teacher may also ask students to touch the earthworm gently let them also touch the stones as well and then you should ask few questions such as number 1 how does the worm feel number 2 is it soft is it rough hard or smooth or how does the stone feel does it feel soft rough smooth or hard and last but not the least you can ask something like which is the living thing and which is the non living thing and why okay as you give as you ask these questions from the students the students will give certain answers you must accept all the relevant answers and then encourage them to answer on their own then comes the procedure here teacher should take a recap of the characteristics of living and non living things teacher should explain different characteristics of living things with the help of the following activities all right to begin with first characteristic comes movement to explain this characteristic the teacher should use the activity which is given in the set induction that is observe keenly and then after the activity teacher should discuss all living things move themselves on their own animals and human beings can also move from one place to another but plants cannot move from one place to another plants show movement yes plants do show movement for example the sunflower turns its face towards the sun or touch me not plant closes its leaves when touched or when there is a strong breeze or when water falls in right and then number 2 characteristic is sensitivity here teacher may bring few ice cubes to a class and ask a few students to hold it ask them how does it feel tell them we can feel the things around us with the help of our skin similarly we respond to our surroundings with the help of our sense organs this characteristic of living things is called sensitivity then the teacher should now place the earthworm and stones on the table then sprinkle some water on the stone and earthworm ask the students to observe carefully ask students where movement was seen ask them why and how it was seen okay the teacher must accept all relevant answers and then the teacher should explain just like us the earthworm is a living thing just when you sprinkle water on it it moves away it can feel the water droplets falling on its body but stones are non living things thus they do not feel teacher should mention that all living things whether it is plants animals or humans they feel 
teacher may also bring a touch me not plant to the class and let the students observe how the leaves respond to touch then right. comes the third characteristic which is respiration the teacher should ask students to breathe in and breathe out in a rhythmic manner ask students to put their hands in front of the nose and ask them to feel the air when they breathe out now teacher should explain that non living things do not breathe teacher should emphasize here that breathing is a very important process without which living being things will not survive all right and then comes the fourth characteristic which is nutrition you know teacher should brainstorm on what will happen if or ask questions from the students like what will happen if we do not eat food okay or if we do not feed fishes in the fish tank what will happen or if the fish do not get food in the fish pond then what will happen and last but not the least if we do not water the plants then what can happen okay then the teacher should explain that all living things need food and water to stay alive plants prepare their own food roots absorb water from the soil animals and human beings depend on plants and other organisms for food teacher should now ask from the children that do your toys or dolls also eat food or drink water when you feed them teacher should say that toys are non living things so they do not need food and water then teacher should conclude by saying that non living things do not need food and water as they do not have life in them all right then comes the fifth characteristic that is excretion here teacher should bring fallen twigs that is small branches dry flowers and dry leaves to the class teacher should explain that the plants shed their dry leaves dry flowers and dry twigs as waste products all living things get rid of waste products in their body this is called excretion teacher should explain that animals and human beings get rid of waste in the form of stool and urine plants also shed their leaves flowers twigs when they dry out plants also get rid of waste in the form of gum now also the teacher should explain that all living things excrete but non living things do not excrete and then the sixth characteristic that is reproduction here the teacher should use the chart on animals and the young ones for example the laminated chart of a hen and chicks and then the teacher should ask question like what do you see in the picture teacher should accept all the relevant answers from the students and then the teacher should discuss with students that animals humans birds and insects they all give birth birth to young ones teacher should mention here that some animals lay eggs whereas other give birth to young ones directly and then the teacher should ask them from where does a new plant arise mention that plants reproduce with the help of seeds when seeds are sown a new plant emerges now the teacher should ask the children what is meant by reproduction accepted answer should be the process by which living organisms produce young ones of their own kind is called reproduction and then the teacher should say that all living things reproduce and non living things do not reproduce all right and then the last characteristic is growth teacher should display the laminated chart of germination of seed and chick growing into a hen the teacher should show how a small seed grows into a big plant then ask them what is meant by growth here the accepted answer is growth is increase in height size and width of an organism teacher should ask how tall were you last year were you the same like you are now most of the students will say no then teacher should ask has your height increased children will say yes so teacher should say that all living things grow they grow in height in width and in size and 
non living things do not grow and then after the procedure comes closure teacher should ask the students to tell some differences between living and non living things she should revise all the characteristics characteristics of living things with the help of the mnemonic mrs no and then comes the recapitulation teacher should write the mnemonic mrs nerg on the board as given below and elicit the characteristics from the children in brief teacher should then ask students to differentiate between living and non living things with the help of each characteristic teacher should ask students to give one example for each characteristic all right so this way the teacher can understand that children have understood the lesson so far all right so this is it friends this was just a sample of a lesson plan which has been framed by me i hope you like it if you want more interesting and informative videos like this then please give a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to my channel till then bye bye